Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brian. Today we're going to do another Dutch pour. It's going to be on a 20 by 24 canvas and it's going to be a split canvas. Um, so what's going to happen is the top portion is going to be one color. The bottom half is going to be a bunch of different colors blown into the top half. So a little confusing, but once I get you down, I'll explain to you more. All right, let's get going. Okay, so what I've got here is, like I said, a 20 by 24 canvas. Um, this is a piece that I tried painting and it came out terrible. So I scraped it and I let it dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re, uh, uh, redo this piece, but we're going to try a different design. So what I did is I used some sky blue and some white and mixed them together. That way I can get more of a, a, a baby blue kind of a color. And we're going to use five colors today. I'm going to use Amsterdam's Prussian Blue, Amsterdam's Quinacridone Rose. We got Liquitex Cadmium Orange, Amsterdam's Greenish Blue, and then we're going to use Amsterdam's Copper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the top half is going to be the baby blue and the bottom half is going to be the five colors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put the five colors down here at the bottom. I'm going to put some more blue on the edge, bring it down, and then I'm going to feather it up with the hairdryer. So made up a bunch of this sky blue. really dry it on there all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it more than halfway I guess and I've been this has been sitting for a few days but of course I just shook it up so all right so let's blow this out Oh my God, guys. <laughs> this might be one of those days you probably shouldn't paint. I don't know. Um, so I have two work tables that I've made out of doors and I went and bought wood from Home Depot and made legs. So I've got two standard doors as work tables, one side and one side. So I'm working on another side and I usually don't work from this side. So I'm kind of got things all messed up here on how I got my paints and bottles and stuff set up. So anyways, that's all right. So what I want to do is make sure my edges are coated and I have a lot, I poured a lot too much paint on here. So I think what I'm going to do is do a little tilt. And what you can do is make sure all the excess paint runs off. And then you can um, scrape the table and reuse it. All right. So let's torch this. It's got a lot of air bubbles. And like I said in the past, when you mix your paints ahead of time and let them sit, then the air bubbles are a little less. But when you shake up the bottles like I do, then you're just creating more air bubbles. So, <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is start layering these colors in no particular order. Actually, I guess I am going to use, I think I'm going to, Add another color here too. I'm probably going to use some silver, but let's start with the Prussian blue first. So let's go. And do 
orange. Greenish blue. And there's a lot of paint on here, which means we're going to have. And I didn't leave a whole lot of space on this side of the table, so I'm kind of scared. Gonna make a mess. Uh, let's use some Deco Art Metallic Silver. I'm gonna be curious to see what happens here because metallics tend to, uh, can, can uh, swallow up the painting. They kind of eat up the colors. So we shall see what that looks like. And I'm going to use some Amsterdam's Titanium White. Just drizzle through here, not a whole lot. Really hope this color combination works out. Looks really pretty on here. <laughs> We'll see once everything gets blown. All right. Uh, oops. Maybe just a little bit more blue down here. All right. What I'm going to do now blow the paint down this way and then come back up. So let's torch for any air bubbles. Oh, there's a lot of tiny little air bubbles in here. All right, I'm gonna to attempt to blow on low because I don't have much space over here. But what I'm gonna do, blow low, and then probably go medium that way, we'll see. Wow, look at the cells in this are already popping. All right, now we're gonna go back up. Oops. There we go. Wow, this is really great. I love the color combination. Um, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I just need to mess with the composition a little bit without getting myself in the paint. You know what? Let's stick this bad boy on. Really don't want to get myself in this. Let's try from the side. All right. Something else. Let's try with straw.
Yeah, there's a lot of color here. Wow, there's some purple up under here. Okay, I'm gonna leave this alone. It's one thing I tend to do is I tend to uh, mess with things too much. So we're gonna torch it, make sure there's no air bubbles. I'll take you down and we'll talk about the sides, getting everything touched up and getting all of the drips down off the bottom. Look at all of the big cells in here. This is strictly Floetrol paint and water, but what's giving it these big cells are these um, metallic colors, the metallic uh, silver, and you got the copper. Um, it just, unbelievable. Looks great. All right, so what we wanna do, see if I can do this while I hold the camera. I'll show you what. So we're gonna to touch up these sides. I'm gonna take a little bit of this paint and, all right, I'm not gonna be able to do that while I'm sitting here talking to you, so. Anyways, um, what we're gonna do though is I'm gonna make sure we, all the drips that are down here, we're gonna scrape with a popsicle stick and make sure all the drips are off. All right, once this dry, guys, I will put it up on the wall and show you what we ended up with. See you soon. Okay, everyone, here's the finished product. I'm just gonna need a clear coat to put on top of it, but this one came out really pretty. The orange really pops, the magenta kind of pops there. Um, check that out. Got some nice big cells in there. Beautiful. I mean, this really dried well too. It almost kind of looks like a backbone. Anyways, so we will see what this looks like with a clear coat and then I'll show you the finished product. All right, we'll see you soon. Thanks guys.